And let's just start from here, man. Let's just X out of this one selected. Yeah, uncheck that. And then just start from start from scratch. So create. And then one thing you'll always want to do also before we even move a step further here, leave this, leave this, leave this tab the way it is, but go back to Facebook real quick. One thing you'll want to always, always do, and, and all we're doing here is just triple checking. Click the three dots real quick in the top right of the post. Click the three dots and just go to edit. So edit the post. We just want to make sure that the title that everything in the text is exactly how we want it. The thumbnail is exactly how we want it because as we go in and set up the ad, we can no longer change it. So the title, the Mosaic Golf Platform, um, and then there's the text, and then you got your thumbnails you can choose from. You already put all the all the tag, that's fine. So yeah, making sure that's the right thumbnail. But then- I don't change the thumbnail. Click on that, and they'll just give you a bunch of uh, options here. So again, this is just basic. This is just random, but this is the reason why I'm bringing you here is because it's the only time we can we can we can come here because when, once we go set up that ad, we can no longer change any of this. So just making sure that there's a cool thumbnail, and then and then um, how do I I want I, I want it to be like one second later where it has like you know the whole picture here. Is that yeah, possible? Yeah, so just choose that picture. Which picture do you want? Oh, so this picture it opens if up. It's like one, one second later in the. Okay. In yeah. the video, we have the logo and stuff. So it's not showing that part, but I think I think showing someone actively doing something is is a better shot than than the logo. Um, like even that swing right there, that dude swinging, or even Brandon freaking taking a about to take us like something like that, it, it would would be more eye catching for sure. So again, this is just all basic, right. you know, if, whatever you want. It's all preference, but but this is the only time you okay. can change it, you know. And then and then the title. What you'll want to do, and, and this one's just video views. So it's not real. Scroll back up, click on video details in the top right. This is this is really just for video views. And, 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 and there's real no hardcore call to action. But as we go into the next ad, the very next ad, that is hardcore call to action. That's when we start running conversion ads for sales, right? Sure. Um, or, or even for registrations, for opt-ins, that, that's conversions. And so... When we get to that point, then this part is very, very important, the title. So that title is what goes below the video. So as you see a random ad, um, you look at a video ad in your newsfeed, right below it, right next to the learn more button, there's the title. So right here, it looks like title. It looks like it's above the freaking text. That's not how it looks like in the ad. So in the okay. actual ad, and you can you could pull up your newsfeed and go look at a random ad, that title is below the video. So... So again, here is just the last place where we put it. And my tip is the fact that in the title, you'll always want to put some type of call to action. So in this case, again, it's just for video views, but I would probably still add something to that title, the Mosaic Golf Platform, well, something like introducing the Mosaic Golf Platform, like something like that. Because again, that's, that's you want some type of, 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 of catchy description there in the title. Watch, go to open up a new tab, go to go to your Facebook real quick, just scroll through the newsfeed, just so I can show you where that actually sits. And that can't be too long either. It, it, it's something short, it's something catchy um, and descriptive. So if you scroll through sponsored, here's a perfect there. example. There's your title. We're just getting started. So he could have wrote a little bit more, um, but but again, you want it to be short, catchy, and descriptive. So we're just getting started. Um, I would have probably put something like there instead of that rocket sh rocket ship. We're just getting started. Click learn more to find out how, or click learn more to redeem a fifty dollar coupon or whatever. That down there is normally some type of call to action. Like so, in your case, as you start to run future conversion ads, you may want to you know again rethink that title and maybe put something like click click learn more to register for our free webinar. Right, yep. rather than just, some, just rather than just something plan or plain and 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 bland, you know what I mean? It it use yeah, yeah, that yeah. real estate space as a call to action. Tell that person what to do, you know what I mean? But right. so in this case, it's just introducing, adding that one word makes it stand out a little bit more. Go back to it real quick, the um, the the other tab, yeah, that one. So that title again is going to go right below. So introducing the Mosaic Golf Platform. So if I solve that, me as a consumer, it's a little bit different than seeing just the Mosaic Golf Platform. You know what I mean? Because that's Very what good. I'm going to see under that video. 
So again, little shit like this, bro, if we're paying for it, it's like the little details like this actually freaking matter. Um, no one's going to really click on your link right there at all, but it doesn't hurt to put it. Um, you, you for sure may want to put, put that in, in future ads because we want them to click learn more, right? So if anything, that could be, that wouldn't be in, in future ads, what you'll want to do is, is, is that's the link to that specific page. In this case, if I go to that link, I'm just going to the homepage, unless that's where everything is at, is on the homepage. But, but if, you're if you're trying to take me to a specific product or taking me to a specific page, then, yeah. then make sure that's that. But again, a lot of times you won't even have to put it there. That will be the learn more button. You know, that's the actual learn. So instead of putting the link, I would put something like, click learn more to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I, might, I might spend the text on, on something like that to click learn more. It's all about click and learn more. So if I don't want to put a long, ugly link right there, again, that's the learn more button. I wouldn't need to. I would just tell them what to do right there. Click learn sure. more to freaking buy this or click learn more to subscribe or whatever. You know, so little random shit. Again, here is the last time we can change it. And that's why I'm just kind of, you know, pointing it out. So, but that looks good, man. Everything looks good right there. We're, we're good. Click on save and, and that's it. So now we go and set up the ad. And um, you'll always want to put the video here first and then and then come back. Okay, cool. So let's go to the ads manager. So we're good there. Um, and then let's just go with video views right over here. So in this one, again, it's the whole objective is to create the custom audience. So we're going to set up this ad and then we're going to, we're going to create a custom audience of those who watch it. So scroll, hit the drop down right there, name your campaign. You might as well just name each step right here. There's three steps, three tabs, the campaign, the ad set and the ad. And just, these are just simple titles. So this one could be the name of that video, for example. And then it'd be intro video or something like that. Um, yeah, MG intro video, perfect. And then in parentheses, what I'll always do, in parentheses, I'll always put the objective. So the objective is video views. So the next one will be conversions in parentheses. And then... Um, I'll name that for the ad at the bottom as well. The third one down, I'll name the same MG intro video, video views. I'll do the same for the bottom. And then the ad set, what I do in the, in the ad set is normally normally listed by the by the targeting. So who am I targeting? Am I targeting Tiger? Am I tar targeting freaking targeting freaking Mickelson? Like who, who the hell am I targeting? Like, or am I targeting multiple, you know, interests? This just right here is just a simple abbreviation. That's all it is. You can name that whatever the hell you want. No one sees that. So um, freaking put in your favorite golfer right there, bro. Just put in, that's who we're targeting. So yeah, targeting, perfect. PGA targeting golf. PGA golfers. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And then continue. So that all that is just a quick abbreviation. So when you look at it from the dashboard, you know what ad that is. That's all that's for. Um, no one else sees that but you. So now we're in the first step. This is the step, MG intro video. This is the campaign. This is where we went video views. This is the first step. So now we'll just scroll down. We don't need any of the special ad categories. Um, campaign budget optimization, we don't need that at all. We'll turn that off and then hit next. So that's exactly all. There ain't nothing to do on that first step. Just choose the video views in this case, um, title everything, and then next. So now we're on the second step. This is the ad set. So this is where we'll choose the budget. This is where we'll choose our actual demographics, our interests, our age, gender, whoever we're targeting. Um, and then of course, yeah, the location. So here you can go, you can go daily budget. I tend to go lifetime budget. Um, it's the same dollar amount. You're just setting the calendar and, and spreading it over a, a period of time versus daily, for example, Facebook charging you daily. So mm -hmm. The way you kind of want to determine this and, and, and think of this number is, is, is in quarters. So if you're, if you're looking at your overall monthly budget, whatever that is, 300 a month, 400 a month, month, whatever the heck it is, just divide it by four. That's this first ad. So this, this is when we're now going to specific local targeting. And, and this is one of four, for example. This is week one of four. So whatever the monthly budget is, divided by four. That's kind of what you want to spend towards this first one. But, but again, what I also mentioned a few minutes ago is that this should actually be a video ad that you have running all the time. So, so spending 15 bucks a day is not what I want you to do on this one. I want you to spend like, let's just say, let's say, let's say three bucks a day. 
three bucks a day. Um, and so in this case, you may want to go daily budget, maybe go daily budget. Cause I'm just advising you could do whatever the hell you want to do. But in this case, what I would really do, the whole purpose of this video ad is to capture the custom audience. So if you let this intro video run all through the month and even in multiple months, what would that cost us? So at three bucks a day, well, what's that? $99 a month. So a hundred bucks a month, a hundred bucks a month for your freaking commercial to be running 24 seven. Yeah. Like that's ridiculous. That's insane. And what are you getting out of it? It's, you're getting a couple of things. The brand awareness for one, you're showing up in everybody's freaking newsfeed. But then number two, you're creating a custom audience. Those that actually watch a percentage of it are going to continue to see my ads. Sure. You know, so if I had this ad, this one specific intro video going at all times, I'm just accumulating a custom audience like never before, like no other, like, and all I'm saying is that that's the audience that you'll retarget. That could sure. be powerful, you know, um, or you break it down by quarters and, 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 and put that budget here. You know, if okay. you just wanted to run it for seven days and then run a different ad for those seven days, and then a third ad for those seven days, break it up that way if you want. But um, it would only be the intro that I'm giving you this advice. It's the intro video that I would run at all times. So if it's on a low daily budget and just let it run, that's, that's what I would do. And again, you can shut it off whenever the hell you want to shut it off. I'll show you how to shut it off. But I would at least let that run, man. That's not a lot per month for that one intro. Change the date. I always go the next day. So, so go March. Start date will be March 18th and then go 6 a.m. 6 a.m., Tomorrow that ad goes live and it's just going to be a commercial in the background that runs at all times. Um, and, and we're going to create a custom audience and that's the audience we retarget with the next ad and on. So, so here we're good. Uh, scroll down. We don't need the custom audience there. We don't need to exclude anyone. The but where United does States, it, where does it like, where are all these, this custom audience? Like, where's that building? Like, where's that list being I'm going to show you right now. That's where we're going to go back and set up. So once we finish this one, we're going to go set up those custom audiences. And it's right here where you'll hit the drop down. So click in custom audiences in that, in that square there, search existing. Yes, click there. It's right here where you'll see your custom audiences. It looks like you have a few of them. So, so these custom audiences, if I had, you know, this video running, for example, and there was 10,000 people in my custom audience who saw my intro video, that's who I want to continue to target. So I would, I would click that, li that list right here and then boom, that's who I'm targeting. Gotcha. So, so that's the whole thing about, about advertising. People just need to keep seeing you. When they keep seeing you, bro, you build that brand like no other. So, cool. so your type of content, if I keep seeing you in the newsfeed, I'm going to fall in love with it. Like you guys have the type of video footage that is never out of date. Like you guys can create videos like it, like, like no other, you know, you need to leverage that. And so all I'm saying is from a consumer's perspective, people keep seeing them. People keep watching them. Those are your custom audiences. Those are who you continue to retarget. But then also, also what you'll end up doing, click out of here, go to the drop down below. You'll see exclude. So click out of that. Yeah. So right there, exclude. That's when we're also going to set up custom audiences around those who actually purchased. So those who already purchased, they land on the thank you for purchasing page. Those become custom audiences as well. And that's who we exclude. Perfect. So, so that's where your money becomes well spent and you start to see an ROI because now you're retargeting those who watched previous, you know, videos and then you're also excluding those who already bought your shit. So now, now the most relevant people are seeing your ads, people who, who were already engaging previously. And then again, people who've already bought, they're not even seeing your ads no more, which is a good thing. You're not wasting money. So, so that's where you would put those audiences, include, exclude. And, and again, we'll set one up right after this. So hit United States, click on the edit, the United States. We're going to edit that. So we're not, or unless you're, tar you're not, yeah, you're not targeting the country, right? You're targeting a specific location. No, I mean, right. This could this could be anywhere in the country, right? Okay, well, shit, yeah. Where wherever you want to target, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's no there's no restrictions. It's just. I thought a lot of your clients were local. No, I mean, we're it's video library and webinars. They could oh be anywhere. My gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, are you shitting me? How come I thought you were local? I don't know. This could be global. <laughs> no way, bro. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, man. Anywhere, anywhere that has internet. 
bro, do you understand how big this shit can be for you? Like, I don't think you understand it. I don't think you understand it. I'm thinking you guys were targeting freaking because, because every time I talk to Cruz, he only tells me a handful of cities, right. That he's targeting. I thought this shit it was the same. And I thought all this applied as well, where, where a lot of those are local he's, students he's the, or clients. He's a physical therapist. So he yeah. needs to see you in person. This is, yeah. this is all online media. Holy shit, dude. That's yeah, crazy. Go- most because 99.9999999999% of everyone I work with are, are local business owners. So I'm always talking in terms of freaking local, right? When it comes to something like this, this shit gets me freaking fired up, bro. Like you have no idea where you're about to start right now. I hope so. <laughs> because, because with digital, obviously there's no freaking borders. And exactly. now as we build this out, that's why I spend time on custom audiences because this is where your freaking future money's at. It's all about creating these custom audiences. It's all about this intro video going out and getting thousands of people to freaking come into our custom audience because that's who you end up retargeting. But when you can, when you have no borders and now you can re, now you can target anyone in freaking any country, here's what happens. Here's what's going to happen. When we have, when we have a minimum of a hundred people who land on the thank you for purchasing page, through, through this, through Facebook advertising. So as, as you have 100 people that land on your, thank you for subscribing, thank you for purchasing, they bought one of your three products. So now they land right on the confirmation page. Once we have at least 100 land on that thank you page, that's when we scale to the moon. And, 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 and now that there's no borders, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, the United Kingdom, um, Canada, if I didn't say Canada already, and the U.S. Those are those are top five top countries, bro, where you could take this shit to literally nine figures. Yeah, like, like all through Facebook ads, like alone, like alone. Because because here's what happens: once you hit a hundred customers, you then take that custom audience because that's a custom audience. Those are those are that's an audience that I've been excluding this whole time, right? Because they already bought, they landed on my thank you for purchasing page. I created a custom audience, and now I exclude them. But once I have 100 people that land on that page, I then take my custom audience and I turn it into a lookalike audience. And all that is, is what we're telling Facebook, hey, man, here is proof. Here is the exact information from my client, their email, their, 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 their address, really just email. Email and name is all they need, Facebook. But, but, but I provide that on a list, right? I have, I have that on a list. And now I tell Facebook, hey, man, here is my exact client. Go and find me more that resemble them. Go and find me more that look just like them. And, and look, quote unquote, looking just like them is based off of thousands of different, um, 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 what, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, freaking what Facebook has on it, data points, data points. So I'm, I'm, I'm talking about thousands of data points. So when I tell Facebook, go and find me an audience of people who look like this. Facebook has thousands of data points on each of us. So they know yeah. our buying patterns. They know our clicking patterns. They know what websites we're on. We, they know what we just bought. And they know a lot of that data because they buy data. But at the same time, they know a lot of that data because every website has a pixel on it. So, so they know the patterns of consumers. That's what makes them so powerful. But, but in your case, bro, you, you are going to be able to create, this is what has me so fired up, is the fact that you're going to be able to create, create lookalike audiences in multiple countries. Yeah, man. Like, <clears throat> that's freaking insanely powerful. Like, that's insanely powerful. When I'm talking to a local business owner, they have their local audience and, and they're, they're, they're restricted. So a lookalike audience really isn't necessary. So even if you were local and you had a hundred people that bought, now we take the hundred people, put them on a custom audience list and then create a lookalike. We're still, we're still telling Facebook, Hey man, it's still this small area. And there's only so many people in this small ass area. So even if I'm leveraging Facebook's intelligence and, and using their AI to find this lookalike audience of, of my exact client, they're still restricted to borders. Because yeah. maybe you're only targeting Jersey or you're only tar- targeting freaking New York City. It's still a yep. small ass area. So your lookalike really as, isn't that effective. And, and again, a lookalike audience is simply cloning your custom audience. Your custom audience is, your, is, is an audience of your customers, for example. 
right? A custom audience could be people who watch your video. A custom audience could be those who land on the web page but don't don't buy. But in this case, I'm referring to the custom audience of those who bought. That's my custom audience that I turn into a lookalike audience. And when you have no borders, you can target any freaking country with your lookalike audience. That's yep. when you scale to the moon. So that's when you're that's when you're literally making thousands per day. You know, like, like literally, bro, like literally, because now you're leveraging Facebook. Now you're telling Facebook, hey, man, here's 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 proof of 100 people that bought from me. Here's exactly what they are and who they are. Go and find me a million people that resemble them. Now, as you now, now, as we go in, look, we're on step two. We're about to choose our location. We're about to choose our detailed targeting. We're about to choose our age, our gender. What if you didn't have to do none of that shit? What if you could just tell Facebook, hey, dude, here's my freaking customer. Go and find me more that look like them. I don't want to fill in none of this shit. That's that sure. point. And when you're at that point, that's where you really scale is, is, is the lookalike audiences. But in this case, we got to build up. We're building up. We're building up to that. Yeah. You know? Well, we have, we have a potential investor right now. And if it goes through, our you know monthly spend is going to go up oh, to yeah. $500 a month. Easy. Bro- Bro, 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 you have to be, you have to be thinking 500 a day. Like, that's where I, I want you at, at, at. Like, I want you spending 500 a day. Like, that's, that's how, like, that's where I want you thinking. Because the, the return on that, that's what I'm trying to say, bro. Like we have, there's no borders now. I didn't know that this whole time. Yeah. I'm thinking you're freaking local, you know? Oh. So it's like, shit, dude, like a digital product. Now it's freaking game time, bro. It's game time. So, so, so <laughs> include, exclude is where we'll be you know, again, focused on custom audiences, but we don't have any just yet. We'll, we'll get back to that part. So go to, go to, go to locations. If, if the U S is where we want, then, then, then leave it U S. Um, but again, yeah. And this, and this, you know what shit, bro, this is the intro video. There are no borders. Take out U S take out U S and, and we're going after everyone target worldwide, target worldwide. And then we'll let, and then we'll narrow it in with a keyword for sure. But go worldwide, go worldwide. Type in worldwide. This is our intro video. Anyone in the world can buy this shit. So I want, I want the attention to go worldwide. Let's, let's make it on. Uh, yeah, let's do this. So worldwide, and then, and then of course we'll narrow it in with some, with some interest words. But That's go right. with region, go region. That one right there, perfect. That one right there, perfect. Okay, so now scroll down. And then you can change the age, you can change the gender if you want, or you can leave it open as. Um, um, but the detailed targeting will for sure put in put in put in some keywords. Would you change the age to? I, like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Great, but like but it's buy. up to you. What's that? Well, I'm thinking like an 18 year old doesn't have money to buy this, so when I no, target- but they they don't. And and again, in terms of our next ad conversions, when we're now going for a sell. That's when we'll want to be more specific with this. Um, but this is video views. We're just trying to get thousands of people to watch this first video. So if you do have a specific avatar, then yeah, for sure, put them in. But but if I'm going for just brand awareness, I want everyone and their mother to see this damn video. You know, especially yeah. an 18-year-old, who knows? That person might be fired up in high school going on to college with a golf star scholarship for all we know. Like, you don't know. Like, so... But again, in this case, do do you can kind of go go either one, leave it or change it. It's up to you. But but as we go into again conversion ads, yeah, you'll want to be more specific if if you know that exact avatar, which I would think you do for sure. But genders, you can change that if you want, men, women. Oh. Um, but the detail targeting for sure. Click on edit, and then and then just. I mean, you can go with this video views, you can literally put in one word and that one word is the power word and you wouldn't even need to put more. But if you want to put more, you, you can, we'll put a few, we'll put four to five. So go golf. That's the main, main power keyword. And so now you could be good off of just that one. But if you hit suggestions, then, then obviously, you know, it'll, it'll bring up a ton more. But right now, targeting worldwide potential reach 300 million. So if you were to add more, go ahead and add more. Let's see, does the number go up or does the number go down? Um, so Tiger Woods. So so now that 300 million went to, oh, it stayed at 300. Perfect. So shit, you could probably load it up with maybe five, six, seven words the most, but that's all you'll need. The, you Again, you can go off of one word here and not even need the others, but 
go ahead and put in as, as many as you want. And yeah, and the number is actually going up. So that's fine. Sometimes the more you add, the lower the number goes because now you're now you're narrowing it into something even more specific. But this one tends to be going up. So that's that's perfectly fine. Oh, size. It actually gives oh, that's interesting. It gives you the size right there. Yeah, it gives you the size for sure. And you'll want to just go with the biggest ones. And and that's all you'll really need to do. Just even even you know, future, future, future knowledge for you as you so go now, set up more ads. You just put in one word and then just use and then click suggestions and that's where so you'll find the rest. Does it, is it looking for somebody that, that likes all three of these or somebody that likes one of at least one of the three? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's either one of the three. It's not the way you go. They have to like PJ tour and they have to like Tiger Woods and they have to like golf. That's when you click out of there, click out, click. Yeah. That's when you go right here, exclude. Or you, or you can go narrow audience, and right. that's when you'll just you'll put all three in separate ones. Right here, you're putting them all in one. But yeah. but yeah, if you wanted to do it and they like this and they like that and they like that, then that would be narrow audience. Um, but in this case, it's one or the other. They like they like one or the other. So they like PGA or they like Tiger Woods yep. or they like or yep, it's or not yeah. and you know. So so that's good. So you don't need to check that box, um, and that's good. So um scroll yeah you don't have to check that box but go back up one thing you'll want to narrow down is is the language so since because we're targeting you know such a, a broad go with english all yeah english all that's what you'll want to do for sure um and then scroll down oh it cut it it cut it from 330 to 170 yeah see so because because of um because of the of the keywords so because you added you know more that's once they're updated that's what what ends up happening and that's fine i mean shit that's still a lot of people you'll you'll like, get a good amount of views um i got cut when we made we put in english yeah that's what it was that's what it was it was the english it was english yeah so but that's fine i mean that's fine that's fine we need english all i don't want anyone else you know seeing you know yeah so english all is fine 170 is fine that's more than enough bro so yeah scroll down we'll leave it on automatic placements we don't need to change that and then that's it so there we just chose the budget we chose the targeting and um and and that was it and then hit next you're good right there that was a day starting tomorrow no ending okay good yeah yeah and then, and then i'll show you how to turn it off if you want to you know turn it off in 20 days or 25 days or whatever but again that that should be going to that ad so we can then you know retarget these viewers but so now, now we're going to scroll down and right there in the middle, add setup. You're going to click on that and you're going to go use existing post. And so, and then right there in the middle to the left, you'll click on select post and find that post. And it should be right here at the top. Uh, this one. Perfect. So click on that and then click continue. And then that is that. So now, as you as you can see, we, we cannot change the text. All we can do is add. We, we can't change the thumbnail. So that's perfect. It looks good. And then so now scroll down and just change the call to action button. So if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see add button right there. Okay, perfect. So right here, this could be, you could go learn more and, and, and might as well just go learn more and link it to your, your page, link it to your Karcher page. Um, it's not that type of ad. It's just for views, but it, it doesn't hurt to have that link there. Okay, which one? Uh... The one to your, to your landing page or yeah, you can go here or wherever you want to take them. I mean, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a, a, like a clickable ad. Like people are not going to be clicking the damn button often at all on this ad. But we're just putting there for the hell of it. So yeah, take them, take them to the home page. Maybe take them to the three products. It's kind of up to you, because again, it's yeah. it's just not an ad that's going to get clicked on at all. So it kind of doesn't matter. But in the future, the reason why the reason why I have I have you post it on the business page first, and then oh. we come back here, um, versus it not being posted there and you're, and you're just simply creating an ad and grabbing the video from your download folder. Uh -huh. Right. Because that's the difference. Either I'm going to grab it from my business page because it's there or it's not there. And it's in my download folder on my computer. 
So I'm going to grab it from there. That's the second way is, is some people run ads where they just simply grab the video from their download folder, for example, and, and, and create the ad. They write out the text here and they run it that way. The way I have, have, have you guys do it and have myself do it, everyone do it, is the way I teach is to put it on the business page first and then just use existing posts. Because once that ad is off, if it, in this case, you, you're going to run it for a while, but if, it, if it's just a random ad that we don't leave on you know, for that that long, I turn it off, that post is still on the page. So I just figure that if you're going to spend money on it, bro, put the damn learn more button, link it to your page for sure, and, and leave it on the damn business page if you're going to spend money on it, right? It might as well live there forever. That's kind of just how I look at it. Yeah. You know, so, so having the learn more button and again, way after this ad is off, that button will still be there. So update post. So as you go to your business page, refresh that page. And now you'll have a learn more button. Click on update post. Perfect. So, so there's that. So now if you go to your business page, and just refresh that that post. Actually, you know what? Go to your business page and let's pin that. Let's pin that post. Do you have anything pinned to the top? Uh, no. Okay, so right here, the three dots. Go ahead and pin, pin to top of page. Yeah, let that bad boy sit at the top. So when people come here, they'll they'll see it at the very very top. So refresh your page real quick. And then you should see it here at the top. And then you should also see the learn more button. So again, way after the ad is already off, at least that learn more button will still be there. And at least the, 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 the post will still be here, right? Versus if I didn't do it this way, once that ad is off, that post is nowhere to be found. Yeah, exactly. So if I'm going to spend money on it, it might as well live on the damn page forever. You know what I mean? Publicly. So there's that, man. And then, and then now you're good. So now go back to the ads manager. And now what we're going to do over here is we're going to publish. So we're going to, so we added the button. We're going to scroll down, make sure that the pixel is there. We're good. Um, and then go ahead and click on publish and we're good. So once it publishes, you'll, you'll come back to this page right here. So let, let it go through really quick. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like in the news feed. So if you hit that drop down, once this thing publishes, Okay, cool. So now if you hit that drop down right right to the top to the right next to view more variations. Yeah, that drop down to the right. Yeah, that, that one. And then if you scroll down to Facebook desktop newsfeed, you can just take a look at what it looks like in the, in the newsfeed as it goes live. So now it's in review. You'll get an email later on um, from Facebook um, saying that your ad is scheduled or running. And that's what it looks like in the newsfeed. That's freaking awesome. Bro, I'm telling you, dude. Holy crap, dude. You have a, a global opportunity with this, man. I don't know why I was thinking you were local. You, you, the, these, you, you, yeah, dude, whatever your budget is, bro, you got to stay consistent with it. So let's, let's keep putting out ads. Let this one, let this one go for at least, let it go for at least four days and then let's run your next ad. And, 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 and this one will, will stay running in the background and we'll, st now we'll start. Why don't you? You, you could you could start with just us or you can really start targeting some specific countries this one's targeting worldwide but but in in any other case you can either target specific countries or you could or we could just start at the us with the next with this next ad as we go for sales and as we go for you know more more conversions but it's either it's either think of a handful of countries or we can just start at the us but let's yeah, let, would, let's start would, that ad on on at least US. four days from now Australia, New Zealand. The top five when it comes to business and, and economics, I don't know if this is true, but it's what you know every online marketer focuses on and, and targets to sell their shit. It's it's the US, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and um and, and the UK. Yeah, UK would be good. To be so, honest, I would like to be able to target uh Japan and China as well. If yes, we can do bro. yes. Yes. And, and, big. Heavy go. and, and they're, and they're a good English speaking country as well, as well. There's quite a bit of that speak English as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So you could target that country, bro, in and go English all 
right? Yep. And 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 get some cells, dude. Dude, this is big, bro. This is really big. I'm I'm over here geeking out. I had no idea we had no borders. Yeah, man. So yeah, bro. So it, it just it, so from this point on, here's how you gotta look at it, dude. And I'll say this in closing. You you have to stay consistent with this. You want to stay consistent. You want to you want to build these different audiences. You want to run an ad, a new ad every seven days, if if possible, or maybe every every two weeks, um, depend on when, depend on how an ad is running. We'll determine if it's ran the next week or not, but we'll get there. But just having the mindset of staying consistent, a, a, a new ad every seven days, a yep. new video needs to go out as a Facebook ad every seven days. If you can keep it that simple, bro, you will literally like crush this thing, crush this thing. So just have nonstop videos ready, man. You're already, you're, you're already a good amount ahead, you know, five, six, seven videos or whatever you have, but, but double that, double that, have, have a ton of video content on deck. That's all this is going to take. That's all this is going to take is these types of videos, dude. And so videos already recorded of like crews doing, uh, exercises, me doing drills. We have all of perfect that. perfect let's just roll it out now it's just time to roll it all out so we'll strategically roll it out every week every week so every every seven days again depending on how that ad is going you'll you'll look at it in seven days and if you have some cells from it then shit we'll just duplicate that and 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 and, and continue to run that ad at, at, at let's just say a higher budget but if if an ad in a given week isn't pulling any cells then you'll just shut it off and run another ad cool you know, so, but, but having the discipline, having the mindset of, of consistency and, 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 and having a budget and not giving a shit sometimes. Okay, dude, shit. If whatever our monthly budget is, okay, we're breaking it down into quarters. If we're running a new ad every seven days. Okay, cool. So this week we spent on that ad and not much happened. Okay, whatever. Second week again, not much happened. Okay, whatever. That's how you have to kind of approach this where it's like, you have to look at it monthly, not just day to day or by the week. You have to be all in on some type of monthly commitment. That's the only thing that's going to make this thing work. That's where everyone drops the ball is that they just don't stay consistent. They don't, they don't keep running ads. They're looking for immediate gratification, which I get it. We all need money now. I get it. But at the same time, Facebook ads, it's a little different. It's just consumer. Put yourself, you're a consumer. You don't buy shit all the time. The first time seeing it, you don't, you don't like, you don't, you don't. I can't tell you the last time I saw something for the first time and bought it. Like I, it just it rarely happens. So when it comes to just basic overall branding, that's why the importance of seeing multiple videos and creating these audiences are, are so important because that's how people get familiar and then eventually buy your shit. They may not buy it right off the first video. That's why you'll run run another one. You'll want to run another one. You'll want to run another one. You'll want, you want to fucking brainwash them, bro, because you're retargeting them until they buy you know, and, and that's, and, and it's in a good way. It's in a good way because you have all this amazing content that you can freaking put out. Not everyone has content like that, man. You know, yeah. not everyone, whenever you can use your business as the backdrop and the tutorial and the explanation of what the hell it is, it's like, holy crap, you can do endless videos, bro, and dominate, dominate. Quick question on this Instagram thing, since we only have like a hundred followers on there, should I not yeah. even be on Instagram? No, no, you, you want every platform you want, you want every platform, um, um, for sure. You want that link you want that presence, but it's not like you have to be running ads over there. Um, mm -hmm. or, or, or you don't need to be necessarily posting over there either, but, um, it's all about ads, bro. That's what this is all about. Like this, it's all about ads. It's all about ads. So that's where you just have a major advantage is the fact that you have all this video content and you are willing to run ads. It's all about running ads. So cool. The IG, let it, let it be as long as, yeah, as long as your name's there, the link. Yeah. Yeah. Let it be. But your ROI is coming from here, man, for sure. And, and running Instagram ads, that's something you'll want to start doing also is, is, is yeah, these Facebook ads, but then also all we had to do was uncheck the box and just let, let it run on Instagram. And now this would be all running on Instagram. Same shit. It's the same shit, Hello. you know? So let this thing run. Let's do one last thing. X out of this to, to the top left. X out real quick. And then um, what we'll do is we'll create a custom audience. So click the dot to the very top, the very top left, those dots, and go to audiences. And this is what you'll want to do at the end of every ad. So as you go run your next video ad, it might not be, or actually it won't be, it won't be video views. 
it'll be conversions. Every ad will be conversions, but it's still a video. As you go and set up that next ad as, and, and that's a video, once you're done, just like we finished this one, published it, now it's in queue, now it's ready to go live tomorrow. Um, once you get to that part, then right away, you're going to come over here just like we're doing now and create a custom audience around that specific video. Okay. So, um, so uh, right here, right create here. audience and go awesome. custom audience and then video. So, so you'll just start creating these, man, creating these like crazy. And then we'll create, if we haven't already, we'll create the website ones. Have we done custom audiences of the, of the website? Your website? We have a couple down here, but I don't think so. Okay. Okay. So that's what we'll do for sure. <clears throat> um, we'll do that for sure on our, on our next call because there's quite a few. There's quite a few links. That oh, we'll... no, we did. Because we did have. We? Yeah, we, we did have... that part already. Uh, Go back okay. over here because I don't think that's saved. I, yeah, I didn't save it because I wanted to. How do I? Yeah, we have these. Add the okay, card. okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. So now we have. <clears throat> now we have custom audiences and we have video. So now we'll start creating audiences around those who watch a percentage of these videos. And, and normally what I go with is 25%. So if someone, in, if they sat there and watched 25% of your one minute video or whatever it may be, like that's an audience that I want to get back in front of. So click on choose videos. And then all you're going to do is choose that video. Um, right in the top right, choose videos. Okay, and then, and then go with that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So confirm, and then you're going to just name it, um, introducing the mosaic. And that's, um, and then in, in parentheses, I, I put 25%. So that's the audience name. That's an audience that you'll always retarget, man. You'll always want to retarget this audience. So create audience. And that's, and that's it. So you're always including that audience in your targeting in future ads. And then you're always excluding scroll down of all those paying subscribers, not the lookalike, but the um, maybe what is it? Is it the paint? Yeah, that one right there, paying subscribers or any other list that you have like that. But yeah, do these lookalikes. So you, you've already created a few lookalikes. Uh, I don't remember doing this unless I did it with you. Okay. I don't know what the population is we'll 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 look at that again but um but yeah man that that it's too early to even target you can set them up which is looks like they're set up but you can't target them yet because they're not they're not it, even though it says ready the look like how many it, it depends on how many people are on that list like that paying subscribers how did you create that did you upload a list or did you go off of an audience off of a oh. custom audience Click on the oh. box, check the box oh. to the left of it, and just go to edit real quick. Like this isn't something that I created. Okay, so um, X out, X out real quick. So just hover over it, hover over lookalike. So rule one percent of the population. So then, oh, I wonder, um, because that was either created off of a customer list, which would be an email list, or that would have been created off of your custom audience and your custom audience is right below. So if you scroll down, you have a custom audience, which is paying subscribers. So, so you have to have the custom audience first and then you can create a lookalike. But what I'm thinking or what I'm saying or how I'm, yeah, how I'm thinking is the fact that that right there, that list paying subscribers right there, scroll back down, that custom audience right there. Has there been more than a hundred people that have landed on that page, which is, mosaic.golf forward slash thank you forward slash thank you webinar or thank you video library right has a hundred people landed on those links probably not okay so then that look like probably isn't that big so it's not even something to worry about right now we can always delete it and, and do it again um okay. but we want to we want to yeah we want to for sure get those set up as well so right now we just have an audience of that video that video let it play that's going to run in the background and that's going to continue to fill this audience that you'll then retarget in the future. Brand awareness, man. Super important. This first video one. So where's it at? Is it, you should see it there in the drop down, right? The video well, intro or introducing. Yeah. Perfect. So introducing MG 25%. Perfect, man. 
that's off that video that that video will go live tomorrow you'll get an email from facebook tonight and then nice. um and then let's chat let's run the next one at least within at least four days man at least at least four days schedule a call and we'll jump back on and that's when we're running the next one which is all about getting people to click learn more and go to your website and go to your actual either checkout page or 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 cart page whatever you want to you know whatever you want to name it perfect so then i'll upload the other videos to the business page and then we could figure out which ones to run yes week. man yes yes that's definitely what you want to be doing and then and then just making sure that the title or the text is exactly how you want it making sure the thumbnail is exactly what you want and then and then yeah we're just going every seven days bro running a new one every seven days and 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 doing the damn thing cool let's do it sounds good bro so let that one run and let's chat in four days awesome all right, bro. Talk to you soon. Later, bud. Late.